Welcome back to Mayumi TV. If you're new here, my name is Mayumi and just like you, I'm in the journey towards getting it together. So if you're interested in videos about self-improvement, plus size videos included, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right beside it so you're updated every time this one you upload, like this one. It is the new year and maybe you are in that zone where you want to spice things up, you want to up your confidence level, or maybe this is something that you've been considering for a really long time. May it be a fashion statement or a form of self-expression. Bottom line is, no matter what your intentions are in considering having your belly button pierced, I'm gonna share with you how the experience has been for me for the past 10 months. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. I'm not really sure if you can see me right now. I think I'm against the light, but I specifically cycled to the beach so that we can hang around outdoors. So let's get right into it. I do have my notes here. <laughs> All right, first things first, let me get through the specifics. I had my belly button pierced last year, probably around March, so it's close to 10 months now. Let's go through the basics. I was 32 years old when I had that, which I think is pretty old for someone to consider and actually go through a belly button piercing. Let me go through a quick story before I share the FAQs or the aftercare. I had a joke where I said I was going through midlife crisis because I'm in my 30s and suddenly I had this urge to experiment with my body. I do have tattoos and I went through a phase where I just wanted to experiment and this phase and this zone is usually what you go through when you're in your teenage years. It's kind of pretty late for me. Let me share why. My generation, there was no social media when I was growing up in my teenage years. Oh no, actually there was Friendster and Multiply but it wasn't such a huge thing. Internet and smartphones were not a thing yet. So our connectivity is far different from how it is now and back then we consume a lot of mainstream media and the celebrities that you would see are this sexy thin lean girls for me back then since I didn't see myself on TV or there was no representation that has the same body type as mine I didn't see myself in this girls this role models I just never imagined myself getting a belly button pierce I could never imagine that I would even wear crop tops in my size and weight right now but here we are I'm in my 30s and body inclusivity and body positivity is a huge thing for the entire world thanks to social media and thanks to girls who are a lot more comfortable in their own skin me included I mean that's a process so if you're not there yet you'll get there hopefully you'll get there but basically there is this huge movement and we're seeing a lot of thicker girls sporting crop tops or fashion statements such as belly piercing too so I think that really boosted my confidence because I can finally see myself in these online influencers, celebrities who are very confident in how they look and along with that came the mindset that hey, I can rock this belly piercing even if I am chubby, I'm fat or I have a huge flab. So yeah, there we go. That's what really pushed me into finally taking the plunge. Times have changed and here we are now. 2022, I have my belly button pierced. You know what, let me just try this change. I don't think you can see me. Okay, I think this angle is better. You can see me better. I had mine done in a tattoo shop here in Singapore. It cost me 40 Singapore dollars, which I think is pretty cheap considering that it's very expensive here in Singapore. It includes the piercing as well. And it was a tattoo artist who conducted the piercing for me. 
And with that being said, that's the number one tip that you have to really follow. You have to go through a professional and consult your doctor if you have some medical concerns or if you have an outie. Please do not ignore this advice. Just go to a professional. Maybe you're still a teenager and you don't have a budget. You can just browse through different places and ask how much it would cost you and look into their reviews as well. I think that would help because again, you are inflicting a wound on your body. So I'd rather not risk it to be honest. <sighs> I had to learn that the hard way when I think I was 14 and I pierced through my lip just using a safety pin. Uh, thank goodness it didn't get infected, but oh my gosh, that was so dumb. That was so dumb. So please, 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 please be smart about this and go to an actual professional and ask for their advice. Don't be afraid to ask questions because ultimately once the piercing is done, I don't think their aftercare would be just as good. You have to look after your own well-being. The most common question that I get is, did it hurt? So we have different pain threshold, obviously. Let me tell you a story of how I felt before, during, and after. So my story was, we were in the middle of a lockdown and I was pretty much bored to be honest. And I was looking for different ways to spice things up. This time around, obviously, I'm a lot more confident in my body. So there was whispers and voices in my head saying, hmm, maybe you should consider belly button piercing. I'm quite impulsive but I had scheduled an appointment. But after booking that schedule, I did not think of it one bit. My friend had her belly button piercing before I did. So I was like, okay, that's the final push. I'm gonna do it. And the day of my appointment came, I went to the tattoo shop. And again, there was no anxiety whatsoever until the guy was actually sanitizing his equipment and I was next. And you know, it's the anticipation, the buildup that was suddenly making me feel anxious about it. So here I am. I walked through the technician or the tattoo artist. So we are here. I don't know if I'm scared. I actually wasn't, but my friends are hyping me up, so I'm quite nervous. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm getting myself into. <laughs> I think we're. There's no backing out. Yeah. <laughs> You don't even know. You don't even know. Depends on when you're gonna get it from, but some get it while lying down. I got it standing up, which I think is a good process. I think I prefer it that way because then he definitely would know how my belly piercing would fall or like how my tummy is when I'm standing up. So the first thing that he would do is to draw a line on where exactly to pierce it through. So when he was preparing, he was touching my belly and things like that. That's when I was actually quite nervous because the voices in my head turned into, uh, Mayumi, you did not think this through. You definitely did not think this through. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You don't even know. Oh my god. You don't even know. You're like a dream I thought I couldn't have it so heaven with you that it's bad. You don't even know. Oh my god. relatively high pain tolerance to be honest i have tattoos and i don't know i just i think i personally think i have a high pain tolerance but there he goes he pierces it through and to my surprise i actually felt a bit of pain it was a bit of discomfort oh my goodness there's this beautiful oh you must see this wow what bird is that can you see oh my gosh it's out of focus just like me do you see it? Wow, wow, what a beautiful bird. Oh, that's, that's the most that I can do. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Anywho, let's go back to me and what we're talking about. Ooh, yes, baby. Come near me. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go back, zoom out, zoom out. All right. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Where was I? Yeah, so he pierced it through. And my experience and my friend's experience was different as well because my friend said that the technician actually had difficulty piercing it through and mine was really quick. In like a second or so, it was just like metal going through meat. And my theory is because I'm fat. I have a lot of flab in my belly area, so I'm thinking that's the reason why it was much easier than him. Or maybe it's just my anatomy, I don't know. On a range of 1 to 10, I'd probably label that pain to 6.5 to 7. Probably because it caught me by surprise. Another reason is because you don't usually get wounded in your tummy area, do you? So it's quite foreign for me to suddenly feel like my tummy has a wound. And that's the reason why I felt like it was quite painful than what I expected. And the other reason why I label it a 6.5 to 7 is because of the duration of when you're gonna feel that discomfort. Because after the guy pierced the metal thing through, sorry I'm not a professional as I said, it's obvious, but after he pierced my belly through, I think he then followed it up by putting the piercing on and then he has to screw the actual knob or this jewel. Oh my gosh, I can still feel it. Oh, f***ing hell. Oh, it hurts more. Oh, what did I get myself into? Oh my gosh, I'm like because when you get your ear pierced done, it, I get my ear pierced with a gun and it's usually a bop. It's just a zap and then it's over. It's just like two seconds and then that's it. Uh, as long as you don't touch it, you don't feel any pain whatsoever. But with my belly, after piercing it through, he actually had to put the piercing as well. He had to twist that jewelry in and I was like, you know, it, the pain is probably because I didn't know what was happening. I wasn't really looking at my core as well because I was just too scared. To be honest, I'm afraid of gory stuff. I would say that that the experience would probably last one to two minutes. But after that, even after an hour, there's no pain whatsoever. I can easily play with the piercing as well. There was no discomfort for me weeks after, only probably a month when the wound is actually healing because then I feel like my meat, oh my God, I don't know how to explain this. Cause okay, how do I communicate this? You know when your wound is fresh, you try not to touch it. It doesn't, you know, out of sight, out of mind. You don't touch it, you don't feel it. There's no pain whatsoever. But then when it's starting to heal up, it feels like it's swollen at some point. That's how it felt. After a few weeks or after a month, it's when the skin is actually healing up that I can feel a bit of pain because I think my skin was tightening up as well. So just a bit of movement and you would feel it. In that regard, it's not really painful, it's just discomfort. The next set of discomfort would be three to six months down the line. I did a 10-day jump rope challenge. I wear really tight leggings because I don't want my flab jumping up and down when I'm working out. Sometimes you can't help but have it right on your belly and the friction of the jumping really aggravated the wound and that's when I would see that it's swollen by then it's supposed to heal but because it was aggravated or maybe because our bodies are different our bodies heal in a different timing it's gonna let you know that it's not yet healed basically just like our hearts maybe just like our hearts <laughs> My artist told me that in three months time, I would be able to change the piercing itself. But three to six months after, and even now, 10 months after, I'm not really confident to change the piercing as well. So that's one tip that you have to consider. Make sure that you are happy with the piercing that they're gonna use with you because I think it's gonna take a long while before you can actually change it. But I'm happy with mine. It's very simple. There are studs and gems and it's just white and I'm really happy about it. So I'm happy to keep it. Although not gonna lie, it's fun to go to jewelry stores and consider having different designs but for now I think I'm happy with this it's just the right amount of bedazzle so that's another thing that you really have to consider your wardrobe so your wardrobe must be very loose avoid high-waisted shorts or jeans or skirts just make sure that you're wearing loose fitting shirts as well which for me as you can see is not a problem because I'm really comfortable with my crop tops <laughs> In terms of my workout after getting my belly piercing done, it did not stop me. I still went on my runs, I did my jump rope, and I did my core workout as well. 
I think as long as you don't purposely disturb your belly area, I think it won't be a problem. So before you get your belly button pierced, think about how your lifestyle is, your everyday clothes, the things that you wear for work, do you have to wear a belt, do you work out? Yeah, things like that. I myself didn't have any issue with my diet. If you are sensitive with certain food like seafood, if that makes you itchy or if it causes allergy, I advise for you to stay away from it. I didn't have a problem in that regard. Now let's talk about preparation. Mentally, I think you're on the right track. You're doing your research. Good for you. Next step is to do your research on the actual technician that you're going to go for, the earring that you want, and perhaps consider going to your physician or doctor just to see that you are not going to have any medical problems with this piercing. I mean, you can't take it lightly, right? End of the day, it is a wound that you're inflicting in your body. Just make sure that your belly button is well cleaned because I think it's gonna be a while till you can confidently clean your belly button. So just clean it up, girls, just clean it up. Now let's talk about the aftercare. I was so tempted to take a swim after I had my belly pierced, but I had to wait 24 hours. I don't remember if I did 24 hours later, but just try to get away from pools or the beaches as much as you can because there are so many bacteria in there and you just want to let your body do its natural healing so that's one thing that you have to consider stay away from water for as much as you could at least in that area and don't use any soap or any chemicals that might hurt it treat it like a wound because it is and aside from that the tattoo artist had some solution that you can spray on your belly button piercing for it to heal better and for you to to disinfect it to clean it to avoid any infections but it was too pricey i think it was around 25 dollars and i said nah baby nah i paid 40 dollars for this i'm not gonna pay 25 dollars for the medicine itself well probably that's the wrong mindset but i was smart enough you know you have to think you know we we are smart with our money so what i did was i went to my local pharmacy and i bought an antiseptic it just cost seven dollars and since it's not a spray i just use a cotton tip and tried to clean the belly area with it i cleaned the earring and my skin as well yeah aside from that i don't do much i think it's healing well because i think our bodies have its natural way of healing anyway so as long as you try to stay away from foreign objects <laughs> foreign things foreign chemicals things like that and i think you should be fine but try to get to know your body as well if you have difficulty healing then maybe that's something that you have to take into consideration i was under the impression that i could change the piercing within three months but actually i think it's not really the best to change it as soon as you could because even if it appears healed on the outside the inner part of the piercing is actually not healed yet and once you take your piercing out it's going to be very difficult for you to put another one in if that's the case then you have to redo the entire process and sometimes you can't pierce it again just be patient with it don't have itchy hands and just let it be let it be you will know when the time is right <laughs> my major concern before i got it done was will it look good once i lose the weight because i'm in the journey of getting it together i'm trying to lose weight and i'm afraid that i would have saggy skin from all the fat that i'm gonna burn unfortunately i cannot update you on that because i think i have not lost enough weight for me to see how the effect would be on me but if i do lose that weight i'm gonna update you for sure so don't forget to subscribe so that you're updated on the progress one last thing that i have to remind you all if you are planning to get your belly piercing done is to remind you of all the attention that you're going to start to get. It's just a thing. People's eyes are naturally drawn to my core right now. Not because I'm fat, not because I'm thick and I'm wearing crop tops, but I think it's, it's also because I tried to accentuate my core with my belly pierce. Let me give you an example. If you're walking through a crowd, the adults will try to be polite and just swerve their eyes towards your core and then look away. But it's the kids that would blatantly stare at you. And the worst part is kids are shorter than you are, obviously, right? It would be on their eye level, so they'll be just like staring at you and I'm like because I think they're attracted to shiny things I think no matter what age our eyes gravitate towards anything that has light or reflects light with that being said it has boosted my confidence in a whole new level I'm owning it I love it it's like magic I just I'm a lot more confident with it I do not regret it one bit I'm so happy I had it late maybe but I'm very 
happy. I think I did it in the right time, right moment. I feel rejuvenated, I feel young, and I feel hot and sexy AF, as any piercing should make you feel. So that's the effect that the belly piercing would do for you as well. Just keep that in mind. If you're insecure about your belly, you don't have to show it off anyway. It could be something that you do for yourself. If you don't want much attention, cover it up. Again, I don't know what your intentions are for having it. All I can say is that I'm pretty glad that I did. I think it oomphed from a scale of, like, say like I'm on an 8 on a hot scale. I think I'm on a 12 right now because of it too. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're all about body positivity in this channel. We're all about boosting each other's confidence and hype me up, crew. So if you're looking for a sign to have it done, I think this is it. Get it done now. Anyway, that's it for today, girls. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone who is considered having their belly button pierced. And I hope to see you on my next one. Kisses! I wanna kiss, I wanna Thank kiss you. your lips Take a taste, it's like a cherry and a chocolate dip You don't really oh my God. want me Do you